absolutely, Stephen and Joanne. Completely shocking. Bob Beshara confesses in open court to trying to hire a hitman to kill his handyman. It was a stunning moment in court. Bob Beshara, clad in a suit, first signs off on the paperwork, then makes this dramatic statement to the judge, admitting to trying to hire a hitman to kill his handyman, Joseph Gens. After meeting and consulting with my attorney, we have decided to agree the following statement. In June of 2012, I foolishly and regrettably offered to pay Steve Tabato to find someone to kill Joseph Gens. This took place in Wayne County. Beshara was facing life in prison for the solicitation charge, but the deal he takes today gives him a shot at a sentence of as little as four years. There is no charge reduction in this case. We have worked out the guidelines and we agreed to guideline ranges. Beshara's short statement was handwritten on this yellow paper. The 54-year-old was led out of court just minutes after he finished reading it. His attorney would not speak on camera. I don't do things on camera. Beshara's admission of guilt stems from recorded meetings between Beshara and a Detroit furniture store owner, Steve Tabato. Tabato called authorities when he realized Beshara was serious about putting a hit out on Gens. Here's Tabato testifying against Beshara at a hearing earlier this summer. He said that uh, he needed to uh, have Mr. Gens taken care of before he went to a hearing for his competency. He said, this is my life. I have to have something done with uh, Mr. Gens. Prosecutors say Beshara wanted to silence Gens, fearing he would offer damaging testimony in a trial if Beshara were ever charged with his wife Jane's murder. Gens maintains Bob forced him to kill Jane at gunpoint. Whatever the motive, Beshara's statement today closes one chapter in this horrific story. I foolishly and regrettably offered to pay Steve the battle to find someone to kill Joseph Gens. Tabato says that Beshara tried to pay him $20,000 to have Gens killed. As far as sentencing, it's a bit dicey right now. The prosecution and the defense having a bit of a disagreement on this on the range. It could be anywhere between four and about 11 and a half years. The prosecution obviously pushing for the longer end of that range. Sentencing is on November 20th. Reporting live downtown, I'm Tom Waits, 7 Action News.